<laughs> hey guys, how you doing? You want to come for a quick walk? Come with me. There's one of my ground woods. Whoops, sorry. And there's the other one. Donation to be stripped down. Okay, and those grounds come in, come in there basically. Um, I now have the 2000 turn coil on here. That's at the door for a second. And uh, what things have I tried and changed? Just let me stand still for a second. Different spark gap, keep it simple. Um, I've had to adjust the capacitance. Uh, bigger coils, smaller toroid, and the results are, I'd say, better if I can get a, like a high frequency out of this thing, and you'll see what I mean. Uh, bits I've changed. So we've had 1,000, 1,200, the 1,700 turn, this little one I made, ooh, adjusted last night, changed the coil on it. Um, was really good, worked really well. Not as well as the big 2000, uh, the diameter of the coil is wider, but works well. So I've got the uh, transmitter coil out of the Slayer, and I'm using that. So, let's switch on, I'll shut the door. It's a nice day. Okay, coffee. <laughs> let's get this rolling. So, you can see frequency on here. He says, and you'll see that adjust with this spark gap, keeps in focus. If I can get that to like 20 kilohertz range, I'll start getting a decent power. Hmm, maybe less, maybe about 15. Debatable. Okay. Um, Watch that for a second. With the tiniest of gap. Okay. And then this thing, if I shut the window. Should. There you go, it's not to do Oh, did you see that fly out? Hear it, sorry, see it. Okay. My body's adjusting it, isn't it? Yes, quite considerably. Oh, okay, I think I know, I know to resolve that. I think perhaps another slinky up top. This thing should pull an arc now. Really hard to see. The bar was obviously, <laughs> but yeah, it likes that high frequency. There we go. And there's a stop. So that's why I'm saying the spark gap monkeys around with me, because now there must have been carbon build up on here, because now it's a dead short. So this is where the quality of my gaps let me down. I try not to make this too long. Should we quickly put some power into? Sorry, some probes and check the voltage coming across. Sorry about the poor focus and the terrible camera shots. Bear with me. Okay, you're gonna have to hold that for me. One in there. I'm gonna have to put you down, sorry. One second. Okay. We're in. DC, yeah, good, 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 good. Back on. Oh, got dead short again. I'll put some light on for you in a sec. Check the voltage. Check the gap. 
virtually non-existent. Oh, it's dropped. Hang on, let me get it again. Oh, that's such a good demo of... There we go, we've got 12 volts coming across. Let's see if this thing will pull an arc then, because it's working a little bit better. No, it's not. Oh, okay, that'll be why. Gap stopped. Let's liven her up. Motor's running. Get more of a spark gap down in. There we go. It's not bad for the uh, receiver. So, the combination, same size coils, same turns. Um, cheaper spark gap. Let's get some light on for you. And that runs pretty sweet. So that focus. Um, oh, we could draw it in a little bit. This thing shocked me on the head last night. I was moving it and my head was near the, uh, near this, isn't it? Hear this motor going crazy, it's on like 14 volts, 13 8. I should really like to know what the frequency is. I should quickly put it back on frequency. Okay, let's get a probe out. Actually, we'll just pull the meter out and run it there. We see how it went 24 kilohertz and then it really accelerated. It's that higher kilohertz range. Oh, <laughs> we lost that. Okay, guys, I'm sorry about the really long video. You can see what I'm doing and see what I'm experiencing. Five kilohertz, five from the gap up, see it go down. So what? I reckon this thing would do for my art. Okay. Uh, enough fun for now. Take care, guys. Let's switch off. Take care. Sorry about the. Uh... Jiggling video. <laughs> Have a good rest of your day. See you soon.